Hello everyone, this is Oshini from Chitta.com. Today, we have a very interesting problem from geometry. It came up in ISI BSTAT BMAT entrance, but this problem can as well be used in a mathematical Olympiad like IOQM, like American Math Competition, UKMT and so on. So, we will solve this problem today. And I'll also give you a challenge problem that you can try and solve. Check the link in the description. You can go to Chinta's community on mathematical sciences and post your solution there. We, as usual, the best solutions are awarded and they are invited to present in our channel. So let's get started. The problem says that there are there is a right angle triangle. We have a hypotenuse AC whose length is given to be one, and we have the angle bisector. The angle bisector CD which hits the side AC AB at the point D. It's also given that the length of BC is X. With this information, we have to find out the length of CD. That's the goal. And as usual, while solving this problem, we will learn about certain associated concepts. So basically, we will be using two ideas. The first one is called Pythagoras theorem. Many of you know about this. It basically says that if you have a right triangle, then if this side is x, this side is y, and the hypotenuse, that is the largest side, is z, then x squared plus y squared is equal to z squared. That's the Pythagoras theorem. It has many wonderful proofs. We discuss these proofs in the Math Olympiad program at Chinta. We have a lot of fun with it. In fact, there is a little uh, little thing that we did the other day. Uh, we created an infinite ladder, ladder of right triangles, right triangles. I've talked about this in some other video as well. It's like this, you start with the right triangle. A very famous one is the 3, 4, 5 triangle. And you then create another triangle like this, which is also a right angle triangle. So now it's, for example, you could create 5, 12 and 13. And now you try and create another right angle triangle like this. So can you tell me this was like the challenge one can you tell me the side lengths possible side lengths of this particular right triangle what about this one so you see the triangles are getting larger and larger and larger so what is the side lengths what is the what are the possible side lengths of this is triangle one triangle two what are the possible side lengths of triangle three and triangle four there will be an infinite number of triangles possible. Can you prove that such an infinite ladder of right triangle is possible? And also, can you give me an algorithm, an algorithm to find out that infinite, to generate, let's say, the first 100 Pythagorean triangles with this property? You create a infinite ladder of right triangles can you do that if you can put a uh, look at the comments uh, comment section and also look at the community link that i have shared in the description you can go there and post your solutions okay so this is the challenge one challenge one this is a descriptive problem so it will take some time you can think about it okay now let's come back to this. The second thing that we need is the angle bisector theorem. This is also a very nice tool in elementary geometry. If you have a triangle XYZ and if XM is the angle bisector of angle X, then the ratio of this side and this side, that is the ratio of the 
the blue, I think that's the blue, the blue and the pink is same as the ratio of the blue and the pink. This ratio of these two sides is the equal to the ratio of these two sides. So we can write it like this that xy divided by xz is equals to ym divided by nz. So you can easily prove this. I'll give you a line of the proof. You from the point M, you draw a line that is parallel to XY. Let's suppose it hits XZ at T. Now with this construction, you can try to prove the angle bisector theorem. This is the challenge too. Either put it in the comment section or go to the Chinta community or, and put it there. You can create a new topic under Mathematical Olympiads and you can post it there. So with these two theorems, Pythagoras theorem and Angle Bisector theorem, we can now proceed and solve the problem that we want to solve. So here, clearly, if this is 1 and this is x, then therefore by Pythagoras theorem, this is 1 minus x squared, right? Because just by squaring these two and adding up, we will get 1. So, it was just by using Pythagoras theorem, we can prove this. Okay. So, now we know that BD over DA, BD over DA is simply X over 1. BD over DA is X over 1. That's the angle bisector theorem. So, a little calculation will show that BD is equal to BD is equal to X by X plus 1. The value of BD is equal to X over X plus 1. So this is X over X plus 1 of the total side length BA. So times square root of 1 minus X squared. So this is this was x is to 1. So I'm not saying that the length of this is x and the length of this is 1. That's not true. But the ratio is x is to 1 because this is x is to 1 because this is an angle bisector. That's given. So the total length of this is x over x plus 1 times the total length. And the total length is 1 minus square root of 1 minus x squared. So square root of 1 minus x squared times x by x plus 1. Okay, so now we have BD, we have BC. So we use one more time Pythagoras theorem to find out CD. So CD square is equal to square of x by x plus 1 times 1 minus 1 minus x square square whole square plus x square. So, can all of you try and find the simplified form of CD and put it in the either in the comment section or go to the community link to see what others are discussing on this particular problem. Thank you for joining us today. If you are interested in outstanding programs in Mathematical Olympiads, Physics Olympiad, Informatics Olympiad or ISICMI entrances, research projects, check the link in the description. We have beautiful programs on that. I hope you will like it. Take care and see you in the next one. Bye.